Hello, and welcome back to another Pen Talk. Thanks for spinning that dial in my direction and watching a video on my channel. This video is going to be uh, multi-part, and the first part is I'd like to say that I plan to attend the Commonwealth Pen Show September 12th uh, outside of Boston, Massachusetts in the United States. If you're going to be attending that show, uh, leave me a comment, um, send me an email, I'll put my email in the de video description in case you don't have it, and you know, if you want to stop and say hi, and uh, I plan to be wearing a yellow Nike hat, so hopefully you can find me in the crowd. But these are some pens that I've just recently received that will be reviewed in the upcoming weeks. This is a pen that a lot of people talked about. I think Doug got his. I had to order one. Uh, they, they don't, uh, Pen BBS doesn't do pure black in many pens. I have a 471 that's all black. But what makes this one unique is when you take the cap off, it has a very black nib. It appears to be the same upturned nib that they use, the fine nib. And it, the engravings on the nib are pretty much that, but it has a black coating on it. Uh, there's been some discussion, which I totally agree with, it would have been nice if they would have done a different finish on the hardware instead of this uh, chrome finish. Would have been nice, maybe a dark ruthium or even just a darker chrome, and, but they didn't. I know I, I love my Kaigaloo 316s. And this one came with a rollerball attachment. In the eBay auction, they called it black, but it's actually a kind of very, very dark gray swirl. Very similar. We'll compare it to another one that I have. This is also the older model. It feels fairly heavy. And uh, we'll see that it just has a standard medium nib in it, which I really enjoy. And explore this a little bit but I did play around with it and the rollerball accessory works very very nicely that section there is very good uh, people send me emails and say uh, do you want to try a pen and so this is one pen that has arrived and I've been quite happy with it visually it certainly is very attractive and it is that kind of ribbon resin that we've seen a lot smog uh, dark paint in the Pen BBS series, but there's you know some different color swirls. It's not just white, but then that could be the kind of like light blue resin that's the base. And it's nice that the section is the same type. You know they branded the nib, so we'll be reviewing this, and and the piston works very very nicely. Has a good feel to it. And someone said, do you want to review? The Hong Dion H1. I had to double check because this pen seems to have a lot of models to it. And if we pull the cap off, we'll notice what makes this pen unique is a kind of like black insert. The reason I thought it was kind of like an overlay, but I just think it's it's like a black coating. So it looks a little different, certainly a very fine nib. And this is made a little bit different than some of the other metal pens from Hong Dion. Nice distinctive click when you put the cap on. But wait, there's more. I also want to talk a little bit about shipping, delivery times. Uh, the Pen BBS uh, took the longest of any of these items to be delivered. Here's what the tracking looked like. And as typical, it spent a lot of time in China. But once it arrived in the United States, it uh, was delivered to me relatively quickly. 
This took the normal amount of time. This was delivered FedEx very, very quickly. And this also was a fairly rapid delivery too. So again, we have four items from China, each delivered a little bit differently, but they all arrived safe and sound, and I will enjoy using them. A very interesting saying on the side of this tansy box. We'll see if that Chinese translates what well in Google as they have done there in English. Interesting set of words. One of the incredible benefits of promoting YouTube videos and publishing them and having some some viewers enjoy them. So Dean contacted me and said, uh, I'd like to send you some stuff. And he basically offered to send me the calligraphy nib from PenBBS. And I thought that was a great offer by him. He has more than one. So I said, sure. And I said, how about if I send you some stuff? And he said, that's good too. So we exchanged packages and they both arrived. His arrived the same day that I got the one that he sent me. So that was really nice. So this nib is something we're going to explore. And uh, a little bit later, you may see the pen that I plan to put this in. It's definitely an interesting grind. Something I'll be, in, you know, comparing to the Kaigalu long blade, which I think is in the same family. They also included some other nibs in that package. Interesting, number five, uh, one millimeter rounded one. It uh, looks like the extra fine flex nib from Fountain Pen Revolution. And, and there's a another one number five there in two-tone so nibs to explore which is always nice dean loves using his pens to make artwork and certainly not something i really can do nice that they uh, have been labeled and you have the pen a nice note so that's good some more artwork great little bookmark I like that but besides the nib and there's some more artwork I'm impressed definitely a uh, unique style that he has but much to my amazement he also sent me this 355 in emerald green so I have the fire one cloud fire so now I have both of them. These are not directly from PenBBS. They were sold, apparently commissioned by a, a, some type of store in China, and then they ended up on eBay. So I ordered the Cloudfire. He, he ordered this one, and now I have it. And interesting to see the calligraphy nib in that pen. But there is much more. Lots of ink samples, which are always useful. And again, this fountain pen revolution uh, sticker, some bubble yum. I think that's an excellent phrase. <laughs> I think we kind of see some inspiration here for uh, Dean's artwork. Nice little thing to put, you know, finger puppet or top of your pen. And then he sent me this small, interesting vintage pen. Kind of reminds me of a salt. Nice uh, gray celluloid. And yeah, nice threads and a very small but probably very useful 14 karat nib. And not quite flexy but a little bit soft and also in a nice metal container so it's safe. So I'll be exploring a lot of these. And here's a pen I've never seen before. And it is quite decorated. Definitely something different. And that's what's fun about the world of pens. And I really appreciate what Dean has sent me. And he seems to like what I sent him. So that makes it 
even nicer. So stay tuned for reviews. There's a lot of material here that I need to cover. And it's also summertime and there's a lot of distractions outside, so I, it may take me some time to go through all of this, but I will enjoy every minute of that. And if you happen to go to the Commonwealth Pen Show, it's a one-day show on Sunday, please look for the yellow hat and come over and say hi. <clears throat> so we've reached the end of this video. Thank you very, very much for watching and continuing to watch, I hope. And I also hope this video finds you safe, healthy, and happy, enjoying your pens, enjoying your inks, enjoying your paper, you know, making marks on paper, which is kind of like the whole purpose of the pens, having some great inks to, to write with, and enjoying that experience. So this is the end. We're going to say bye. See you soon.